So today we are going to look at number three on our uh, questions here. Um, and so we'll kind of look through that and solve some problems. This is a little bit of a different video method than we've done in the, the, that I've done in the past. So hopefully this gives you a chance to maybe look and see kind of what's happening a little bit better. Um, and so, yeah, let's go ahead and look at number three. So a bullet with a mass M is fired into a wood block that lies on a f top of a frictionless horizontal table. The wood becomes embedded in the collision after the collision with the block, and the block slides off the table, landing at distance x from the edge of the table. The height of the table is h. Find the velocity of the bullet block system after the collision. So, um, once again, this is one that's kind of similar to that past question we were looking at before, where it feels like it should be a momentum question, uh, but it's actually not. You'll actually notice B is find the velocity of the bullet before the collision, right? Um, the only way we can find the velocity after the collision uh, is if we know the velocity before the collision, right? Uh, so that kind of tells us it's not a momentum question. It's actually going to be a different kind of question. And so we got to look at what other information we know. Well, we know that the, the table is frictionless. And so after this block gets, the bullet gets embedded in the block, it's going to fall. And they actually give us some distances here. They know, they tell us that this is H and that this is X. Okay, so they give us some of that information. And so you should be thinking, uh, maybe what is a way that I can solve uh, that type of problem? Because I know what's happening here. If I know uh, sort of this, this information here, am I able to find out what this initial velocity is here? And the answer is yes. So this is just going to be a kinematics question. And so I can just solve it using kinematics, okay? Uh, so this is a two-dimensional kinematics question. Um, so what do I need to set up first? Yeah, I got to set up my x, y chart, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and write down all the variables we know in our x direction and then also in our y direction, okay? So in the y direction, I know that the acceleration is what? Yeah, so you may have said negative, but I'm actually going to set down as positive um, and then write as positive as well, uh, just to make my math a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and write g. Now, the reason I'm writing g and not a number is because they give us h and x. So those are not numbers. Um, and so usually if they're giving us variables and that's sort of expected to be in the answer, um, it's best to keep everything as a variable and not add extra numbers that we don't need. Okay. So um, we have this. We know that the um, initial velocity in the y direction is what? Zero, right? This is directly in the x direction, which means there's nothing in the y direction. We also know that um, time is what I'm looking for, right? And we know that the delta y is what? H, yeah, it's covered up there, but that's H, okay? And then in the x direction, uh, we know that delta x equals just x, that's what they gave us here, right? And then we also know that the acceleration in the x direction is how much? Yeah, zero, right? We know that there's no force pushing in the x direction, so that's just zero, okay? Um, and then we also have vix equals our question mark, right? That's what we're trying to solve for. And then we have time. Now, hopefully you remember, what are we going to need to do? So we have this set up, and we're going to usually solve for what, and then use it on the other side. Yeah, we'll solve for time here in the y side and then use it on the x side. Um, so this is be the time when you would take out your um, formula sheet and go ahead and figure out which one matches these variables, right? So we have delta y equals v i t plus one half uh, a t squared. You may also see this as v naught, okay? And so let's just plug in what we know. Um, so we have h equals what's going to happen to this whole part since vi is zero that's going to go to zero so we'll just have one half g t squared so i'll multiply by two okay and then divide by g and then take the square root of that so t will equal root 2h over g now i just need to plug into the x side okay so i'm going to use the same formula vi not t plus one half a t squared and so i'll have Delta x is just x. This whole part is going to turn into what? 
zero, right? My acceleration is zero, okay? And so then I have V naught times, and now my T is just this stuff here, so root two H over G, and then I need to solve for V naught, okay? So I have X, and then I have G on top, two H on the bottom, and then I need to square root that equals V naught, okay? So that would be my answer for part A, okay? Well, I'll come back for part B in a second.